And at that time when Islam was very, very early in the 50s, 60s, Allah Almighty sent a man like Peter Sayyid Maruf Hussein Shah Sab. And this is a man that we owe Islam, we owe our religion to. We, we give credit to this man. Why? For when there was no Islam in this country, in Bradford, in Batley, in Dewsbury, when people struggled to know what the prayer times were, when people didn't know where the local masjid was, when Ramadan begins, you know, this man came from Chakswari, Jhelum, from Kashmir. He came over to this country. He was working hours in the factories and in the evenings. He was busy teaching people Islam. He taught my grandfather how to read the Quran. He taught your grandfathers and grandmothers how to read the Quran. He wanted to establish a masjid. Howard Street Masjid was made. Then Southfield Square Masjid in 1964, if I'm not mistaken. 1964? We're in 2024. 60 years, brothers. 60 years from that time till now, this man has served Islam in this country, in Bradford and throughout the UK. This is the work of this man. Over 18 madrasas, centers, masjids, just in Bradford. Over 35 throughout the world, in Holland, in France, in different parts of the UK, in Sheffield, in Derby, the influence. How many ulama have come over? Mufti Ansarul Qadri. All these big, big muftis and sheikhs that we see, who brought these people over? Who gave them the opportunity to spread Islam in this country? This is Peer Saab's work. Peer Saab was a man who did work for our community. Our parents, grandparents didn't know what Islam, they came over as farmers. They were working in the farms, they didn't know no different. He's the one who lit the, 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 the candle of faith and Iman in their hearts. He's the one who fueled them to come towards the masajid. He's the one who spent day and night collecting money so that he could build masjids in every part of Bradford. So that people, wherever they live in Bradford, they can go and read the salah there. Jamir Tabligh islams work has spread everywhere. We have to give credit. This is a man whose loss that we will not be able to bear. We will not be able to. Who from amongst the ulama, amongst us, can fill the shoes of this great man? We can't. Who can build masajid the way he built masajid? It's, I, I've built one masjid, and how hard has it been? The man built 18 masjids in Bradford. 18 masjids. Every person who do sajda inside the masjids that he laid the foundation to, till Yawmul Qiyamah, he will get sadqa jariya for your sajda. And today you will witness a historic janaza, a janaza of a man of Allah. You will witness this janaza today at West, Westgate Masjid, where there will be not tens of, there'll be tens of thousands of people. This is a janaza of a man of Allah. He is minal awliya. This is a man who did work. You only appreciate and value these men when they leave the dunya. When they're alive, you talk bad about them. You say, ah, they did this and they did that. When they're gone, then you'll realize what has gone. Non-Muslims have paid tribute to Peter Sahib Rahmatullahi. That what a man he was. What a gentleman he was. Since the 60s till now, as a Peter Sahib has done work for our community, from the Muslims in this country. He is the one that, he is Muhsin Ahli Sunnah. He has done great ihsan upon us. How do we repay this favor? We can't. On the day of judgment, we ask Allah that allow him to stand with Mu'az bin Jabal. Allow him to stand with the great pioneers, pioneers of this ummah. Remember what I refer to Sayyidina Peer Sahib as, Rahmatullah alayhi. He was a pioneer. You know who are pioneers? They're the ones who have the mind vision. In the 60s, he could see Islam. Bradford is going to have the largest Muslim population. Over 140,000 Muslims live in Bradford. 25% of the population are Muslim. He knew that masjid was a need. Even the Diobandis pay respect to him. Even the Shia pay respect to him. Even the Salafis pay respect to him. Why? Because this man gave up his own life so that he could spread Islam in this country. We have to pay our respects to him. We have to make dua for him. We have to raise our hands and say, Oh Allah, accept his khidmat that he has done for the deen. And let this be a means of his salvation on the day of judgment. That let this be a means of his acceptance in the court of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam.